first $1,000 by accident. You make your first $10,000 with a little bit of encouragement. You do that 10 times a week, you will make $1,000 on accident, I promise you. You've got this. Five money-making woodworking ideas that can make you $10,000 or more. What would you do with an extra $10,000? Would you pay off some loans? Would you buy a truck? Would you get some more tools? Maybe you wanna take the family on a surprise vacation anywhere in the world. You could do a lot of things with this $10,000. Well, not this $10,000, this is fake money. But this is a very real cutting board that we made right here in our shop and that we sell for very real money. How much do you think we sell this cutting board for? $50? $100? What if I told you we sold this cutting board for $178? Would you believe me if I told you we've made six figures for three years in a row, mostly selling just these cutting boards? When we first started out, people told us we were crazy. They said things like, too many people sell cutting boards on Etsy for $20. How are you ever gonna compete with something like that? We used to think that way too when we were broke. And then we made money. And the more money we made, the more money we realized was out there. Now you're probably thinking, I've never seen anybody pay almost $200 for a flipping cutting board. I don't know anybody that would. I'm not friends with anybody that would. You're either lying and ripping people off or you're doing something else that's unethical. And if that's you, fair enough. I totally understand why you think that. I just wanna ask one question. Let's slow down, take a deep breath, and just ask yourself, what if these two bozos are actually telling the truth? What would that mean? Are there really people out there that would, with a smile on their face, pay you almost $200 for a cutting board? Would people, believing that it's a totally fair trade, buy what you make in your garage with scrap wood at a really high price? Yes, yes, they will. There are tons of people that are hungry for high quality handmade goods from people just like you and me. So many people, in fact, that we could not sell to every one of them if we wanted to. That's why we're trying to encourage more people to come along with us and help out because it's so much fun to do it. If you haven't written us off yet, if there's a chance that you think we might be telling the truth here, we want to stretch your mind for just a second. I want to show you something really cool. Let's stick with the silly cutting board example. Etsy, Alibaba, Target, all of these places have almost every size and option for a cutting board. And why? Why is that? It's because everybody has a kitchen. Get this, there are 144 million homes in the United States and they all need at least one cutting board. And if they all bought one $80 cutting board every single year, that would be $11.5 billion spent on cutting boards. Every year. Every year. Now, obviously, every home in America is not gonna buy an $80 cutting board every single year. But if only 1% of all those people bought an $80 cutting board. You would still have an industry that's $115 million a year. Okay, that's a lot of math this early in the morning. I'm sorry. <laughs> but making money with a woodworking business is very simple. It's a lot of work, but it's very simple. A lot of us overthink it. We're probably the worst of those. The furniture industry in America is a $300 billion a year industry. That's more than what Google pulls in worldwide every year. Guys, there is so much money to be made. We just have to go get it. With just these wooden boards, we've made $10,000 about 20 times. But okay, you don't wanna do cutting boards, that's fine. Let's talk about some other ideas. If you wanna do larger furniture, like kitchen tables, or cornhole boards, or nice outdoor furniture, picnic tables, yep, we've also made $10,000 selling a lot of those things too. The list goes on and on and on. There's no end to the things that you can make in your garage. And you can bet the market for those things is just as big as the cutting boards. So whether it's charcuterie boards or wooden cactus decorations, there's a lot of money to be made out there. If that point hasn't been made to you yet, please just go take a look at the numbers for yourself. But if you're starting to understand and if you're asking questions like, how can I get my piece of the pie? Or how can I make some money doing this? I see my friend, he's doing it. How do I get some of that too? You're asking the right questions. You're in the right place. You're our kind of people. We asked those same questions five years ago, and now we're literally living the life of our dreams, and we don't have a real day job, and it is so much fun. Just look where we are now. It's been an amazing ride, and we're so grateful for everything that we have. And to those of you who have been following it since the beginning, 
Thank you. We so enjoy having you here. Now, this is normally where somebody would ask you to buy a course or uh, subscribe to an expensive subscription to, to learn the secrets of how to do it all, uh, but that's not us, not today. We've done that in the past, but that's not what we're doing today. Today, we wanna break down exactly what you need to do to make your first $1,000, and we're gonna give you the roadmap on how you make your first $10,000 selling what you make in your garage. But until you start making money, I don't wanna ask you for a dime. All we ask is that if you like this video, share it with somebody else that you like or somebody you don't like. Doesn't really matter. Just share the video. If you could just take five seconds to do that, that would mean the world to us. Once you make that first thousand dollars, I promise you, you're gonna be hooked. Then if you need help managing the demand and you want to grow faster and actually build a business, that, that's when we can coach you and, and help you out. But for right now, I just want to get you a quick win as fast as possible. So I'm going to share with you everything that we know about trying to get to the first thousand dollars as fast as humanly possible, because the faster you get rewarded for it, the more likely it is that you're going to continue and grow it into something to be the size that you eventually want it to be. Whether you want to take your family on a vacation or you just want to never have to worry about how much a tool costs. So the first thing that I want to convey to you is that you can make $1,000 by accident. With a bad product, with a bad marketing strategy, with a bad website, or no website at all, with a, a shop under a carport, you can make $1,000. You don't have to do anything right to make $1,000. So get started. All you have to do is talk to people. It's that simple. I know it sounds scary, but all you have to do is talk to people. This is the first lesson I learned when I was living in California and I just saw so many people spending money so freely on really dumb stuff. And I just, people just need, if you're taking notes, take this down. People just need a reason to spend money. If they don't spend it with you, they're just gonna spend it at Starbucks. And I don't wanna make any assumptions, but I think you would appreciate the money a lot more than Starbucks needs that extra $100. Still don't believe me? Go to your closest shopping mall. Look at every one of those little tchotchke stores uh, in the aisle between all the shops and they've got people handing out samples and, and trying to harass you. Every one of those stalls costs over a thousand dollars a month to rent out of the mall and they're always there. There's dozens of them. If you talk to enough people, it doesn't matter what you're selling, you will find some customers. If you just show your stuff to enough people, someone will like it and buy it. So let's talk to people. Here's what you say. This trick honestly made us so much money when we were first starting out. When you see somebody and they ask you how you've been, the typical, hey man, how's it going, how you been? Here's what you're gonna say. Say, I'm doing really great, I just started a business. And then stop. It's gonna feel a little awkward, that's okay. Let the silence hang there for a second. Cause then they're gonna say, oh, that's really cool. What is it that you sell? And then all you have to do is tell them what you build. And bonus points if you can pull out your phone and show them some pictures. Here's exactly what they're gonna do. They're gonna be really polite. They're in a normal everyday conversation. They're gonna give you compliments on the work you've done. They're gonna ask you questions about how you build it. And then after a couple of those, you just ask one final question. You just say, do you know anybody that might need something like this? Really casual, like super chill. Not, do you wanna buy anything? Not, how much would you pay for this? Or, can, can I build you one? Like, none of that, just, hey, do you know anybody who might need something like this? Best case scenario, they're the ones that need something like that, and you've just made a sale. Or, if they don't need something like that, they probably know somebody who does, and then you can ask them for an introduction. Or, worst case scenario, they say, no, but that's really cool, I'll definitely keep you in mind next time I hear somebody needs something like that. And then, boom, you're done. Conversation over with. You have just told another person about your business. You do that 10 times a week. You will make $1,000 on accident. I promise you. We use this exact same method and we met a home flipper in Minot, North Dakota of all places. And they bought uh, several thousand dollars worth of custom furniture for us. We did like a rolling barn door. We did a mantle. We did a coffee table for them. Just, it's stupid how simple this is. Okay, so then how do you go from $1,000 to $10,000? You do that a lot. Like I said, it's hard work, but it's really simple. You just go and you talk to more people about stuff that you make. You make your first $1,000 by accident. You make your first $10,000 with a little bit of encouragement. So for a little encouragement, go watch all our past videos where we show the entire, and I mean the entire, journey of starting our woodworking business. And we were very bad when we started. <laughs> Good luck. 
I'm so embarrassed when I go back and I watch those videos. I know a part of me is like, don't go back and watch the old videos, but also go back and watch the old videos because. I was the type of kid, I was crying on my neighbor's doorstep as a teenager trying to sell popcorn for Boy Scouts. I was so bad at sales. If I can figure out how to do this, you can figure out how to do this much better. And we're not giving up on you. We're gonna continue to encourage you every week with videos. So hit subscribe so you see the new videos while you're trying to catch up on the old ones. We're praying and sending positive energy your way every single day. Seriously, we're specifically thinking about you guys, the ones that watch to the end of the video every single day. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you on the next one. You've got this. Me, I do it, I just stick to the